is something I want to address. Fat Joe decided to enter the conversation about, you know, the things that I was saying about my experience based on my personal view with uh, the Rockefeller experience and, you know, whatever. Right. And he said some shit like make another hove and delusional and all that. I saw that. Delusional is real. People hype themselves up to believe that there's something they're not. If you're a hustler, if you're a money getter, then where's your money? If you're a genius and you're smart, then where's your He said it. You made one, go make another one. And I was surprised at Fat Joe because he ain't got shit to do with it. And you know, grown men, he's from the street. We don't usually talk on other men's business, so maybe he's changed. But regardless, I ain't got no beef with you, but I have a response to what you said. Number one, make another hove. Why the fuck would I make another hove? He was double dipping. We were paying him highly as an artist, and then he was double dipping from the company, and it didn't make me a lot of money. He did not generate $100 million a year for me. That's why I had to do a lot of other shit. I don't want to make another hose. But I did make a Kanye, a Cameron, pause or help. And, you know, after you do that, I don't have an, anything else to do. But what I did do was the next year, I started another company called Rachel Roy and it generated over a hundred million dollars a year. So I didn't make another hove. I made another hundred million dollar company, Ooh. but because you don't speak that language and most people don't. And a lot of what you know is music. If I'm doing something in another language you don't understand, then it doesn't resonate with you. But do the research, look under the hood and look at the hundred million dollar company with Rachel Roy that I did a year or two right after that. I don't make an artist, I make a company. And then what I'm doing now, because he was like, yo, where the money at? I ain't going, number one, it, it, to me, it's, it's not a manly thing to ask about another man's money. And other men don't show their money to prove anything to another man. Facts. So it's almost like a mind your business kind of thing. But either way, that's, that's your approach. Go ahead and do that. Whatever. But my point is, um, I want you to look at America New. Take the time, do the research, and because you don't speak the language of television, you might not understand the magnitude of having another, or having a television network without partners or raising a dollar, mm -hmm. making all the content in it, and making sure you get the ad tech to get the full CPM and the data. So I want to enlighten Fat Joe as to other businesses. Now, I see him doing other businesses like Beard Dye, Fat Joe, DJ Khaled, Tank, Tyson Beckford, The Wonder Boy, Travis Kelsey. Right for the holidays, get that glow. You see how that thing going? Rewind the time, baby. Why fight the time when you can rewind the time? And promoting, putting um, dye on your face to make yourself look younger. I go in the bathroom, I rinse it off with water. Simple as that. North to South. I got that glow. That's not my business model. I've heard him say things like, I'm going to open the door of the richest man in the room. That's not me. And, you know, you can do what you want to do. It's all good. And I feel like, you know, Fat Joe and I have always had a good rapport. Mm -hmm. We used to have a lot of problems with Fat Joe, Big Pun. And I would be the guy, the voice of reason to squash all that. And I think someone should ask Fat Joe about it. He could articulate it. But but again, I'm not trying to sell beard dye. I'm not trying to open up doors for people that have more money than me. I'm not trying to go into a club, make music, and be the old guy in the club and, right. and try to make myself look younger. Right. I like to create companies. So my other hove immediately, if we want to call it that, because he might have been generating the company $30 million, but we'd be paying him at least, you know, a big percentage of that, right. is to create another company. That was Rachel Roy. No one ever wants to talk about the fact that I stopped hip hop, music, retired, and broke another vertical that no one knows about in the designer field. Do your research, mm -hmm. and that's Rachel Roy. Don't ever ask me about my money, that's corny. I'm never gonna ask you about yours. I don't have a, a bankruptcy, I never went to jail for tax evasion, and if you did, I'm not um, down playing you, I just never did all that. Right. All I've done is invest every dollar into my dreams. And if you want to know where the money is, go to America New 
and you tell me anyone else that you know that has a television network that gets the full CPM, the data, and that made all the content on there. But if you don't understand that language, you might not know how to speak on it. 